What do you do when life seems to be falling apart? When the storm clouds gather and everything you've held on to begins to slip away? It's in these moments of intense struggle that the true test of your faith emerges. You might be wondering, where is God in all of this? But what if I told you that the very storm you're facing could be the place where God is preparing to bless you the most? Stick with me because by the end of this message, you'll see how God is working in your storm and why you should never lose hope. Let's turn to Isaiah 41 verse 10, where God says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This scripture assures us that God is always with us, ready to uphold and strengthen us, especially in our weakest moments. But what does this look like in the midst of our daily struggles? How can we truly experience God's presence when life's storms feel overwhelming? Let's dive deeper into this truth as we explore how God's presence in the storm can transform our perspective and give us the strength to keep moving forward. When you're in the middle of a storm, it's easy to feel alone. The weight of your troubles can make you feel like you've been abandoned, left to face the raging winds and crashing waves on your own. But remember, God is always present, even when it feels like everything around you is falling apart. He is closer than you think, walking beside you through every hardship. Think of the disciples in the boat during the storm, frightened and unsure of what would happen next. These were experienced fishermen, people who had weathered many storms before, yet this one was different. It was overwhelming. In Mark 4 verse 39, as the waves threatened to capsize the boat, Jesus was there with them, right in the midst of their fear and uncertainty. All it took was a simple command, Peace be still, and the storm obeyed. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Just as he calmed the storm for them, he can bring peace to your life. Even if the storm rages on, his presence gives you the strength to endure. Now consider this, the presence of a storm doesn't mean the absence of God. In fact, the storm may be the very place where God reveals himself to you most powerfully. It's in these difficult moments that God's presence becomes more tangible, more real. You might not always see Him or feel Him, but He is there, guiding you, holding you up when you're too weak to stand. The Bible tells us in Psalm 34 verse 18, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. When your heart is heavy and your spirit is crushed, God is closer to you than ever before. Sometimes, the storm is a place of deep spiritual growth. It's in the storm that you learn to rely on God in ways you never have before. When everything else is stripped away, when the things you once depended on are no longer there, you realize that God is your true anchor. He becomes your refuge, your strength, and your ever-present help in trouble. It's in these moments that your faith is tested and strengthened as you learn to trust in God's presence and His ability to see you through. You are not alone in your storm. Just as Jesus was with the disciples in their moment of fear, He is with you now. He hasn't left you, and He never will. His presence is a promise, one that you can hold on to when the storm seems unbearable. God's presence in your storm is a reminder that you are not forgotten, that you are deeply loved, and that you have the strength to make it through. So, take comfort in knowing that God is with you, right in the middle of your storm. His peace is available to you, even when the winds are howling and the waves are crashing. Let His presence be your source of strength and calm as you navigate through the challenges you face. When you recognize that God is present in the midst of your storm, it brings a deep sense of comfort and peace. But as comforting as His presence is, there's another crucial element that must accompany it, trust. Trusting that God is not only with you, but that He also has a purpose for allowing the storm in your life. This brings us to the next important truth, trusting God's plan. It's natural to wonder why God allows storms in your life. You might question His plan, 
asking why you have to go through such difficult times. But in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God reassures us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Trust that God's plan is bigger than your storm. He sees the bigger picture, and He is using the storm to shape you, to prepare you for the blessings that are coming. But trusting God's plan doesn't always come easily. When you're in the middle of a storm, it can be hard to see beyond the immediate pain and confusion. You might feel like everything is falling apart, and it's easy to wonder if God has forgotten about you. But remember, God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Isaiah 55 verses 8-9 to What might seem like a setback could actually be a setup for something greater in your life. Think about Joseph, who was sold into slavery by his own brothers and later imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. It would have been easy for him to feel abandoned by God. But throughout all the trials, Joseph never lost faith. He trusted that God had a plan, even when he couldn't see it. And in the end, God elevated Joseph to a position of power in Egypt, using him to save many lives during a time of famine. Genesis 50 verse 20. What was meant for harm, God used for good. The same is true for you. God is working behind the scenes, even when you don't see it. You might be facing a situation right now that seems impossible to overcome. It could be a financial crisis, a broken relationship, a health scare, or the weight of anxiety and fear. But God's plan for you is still in motion. He is orchestrating every detail of your life, weaving together a tapestry that reflects His love and purpose for you. Your storm doesn't define you. It refines you. It strengthens your faith, builds your character, and draws you closer to God. So, when you find yourself questioning why this storm is happening, Remember that God's plan is not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. He sees what you cannot see. Trust that He is leading you to a place of greater blessing, even if the path is difficult right now. His plan is perfect, and His timing is always right. Hold on to that truth, and let it give you peace as you navigate through the storm. When you trust in God's plan, even when you don't fully understand it, you're laying a foundation of faith that will carry you through any storm. But trusting God's plan isn't just about understanding. It's also about enduring. The true test of your faith often comes in the midst of adversity. It's in these challenging moments that your faith is refined and strengthened. Now let's explore how the power of faith sustains you through the toughest times. Your faith is tested the most during the toughest storms. It's in these moments that you must hold on to your faith like never before. When everything around you feels uncertain, when the ground beneath you seems to shake, faith becomes your solid foundation. Think about the story of Job, a man who endured unimaginable loss. His health, his wealth, even his family. Despite the overwhelming pain and the voices around him urging him to give up on God, Job remained steadfast. He questioned, he grieved, but he never let go of his faith. In the end, God restored him, blessing him more than before. This story is a powerful reminder that faith in adversity isn't about denying the pain or pretending everything is okay. It's about trusting that God is still in control, even when life feels out of control. James 1 verse 12 says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love Him. This verse encourages you to see your trials not as obstacles, but as opportunities to deepen your faith and draw closer to God. When you face adversity, your faith acts like a muscle that grows stronger with use. The more you exercise it, the more resilient it becomes. In these moments, you might not see the end of the storm, but faith gives you the strength to keep going. It's like walking through a dark tunnel with the belief that there is light on the other side. Faith doesn't always remove the storm, but it does give you the courage to face it head on, 
knowing that God is with you every step of the way. Faith in adversity also teaches you to rely on God's strength, not your own. When you reach the end of your resources, that's when God's power can truly shine. The Apostle Paul understood this well when he wrote in 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. It's in your weakest moments that God's strength becomes most evident. Your faith allows you to tap into that divine power, giving you the endurance to withstand any storm. Finally, remember that faith in adversity doesn't just impact your life. It can inspire those around you. When others see you standing firm in your faith, even in the face of challenges, it can strengthen their own faith. Your testimony of perseverance can become a beacon of hope for others who are struggling. Just as Job's story has inspired countless generations, your faith in adversity can leave a lasting legacy of trust in God. In the end, your faith in the midst of trials is not in vain. It is the key to unlocking God's blessings and experiencing His power in ways you never imagined. Hold on to your faith because it will carry you through the storm and into the blessings God has prepared for you. But what sustains your faith when the winds of adversity are unrelenting? It's the hope you have in God's unwavering promises. Just as faith is your anchor in adversity, hope is the anchor that keeps you steady when everything else feels like it's falling apart. Hope is the anchor that keeps you grounded when everything else is chaotic. When the winds of doubt and fear try to pull you under, hope in God keeps you steady. Romans 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let your hope be anchored in the promises of God, not in the changing circumstances of life. He will fill you with joy and peace, even when the storm is at its fiercest. But what does it mean to have your hope anchored in God? An anchor holds a ship in place, preventing it from drifting away in the current or being tossed by waves. In the same way, hope in God anchors your soul, keeping you from being overwhelmed by the storms of life. When you anchor your hope in God, you're saying, I trust you, Lord, no matter what comes my way. I believe in your promises, and I know that you are faithful. This kind of hope is not based on wishful thinking or blind optimism. It's rooted in the unchanging nature of God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When everything else around you is uncertain, God remains constant. He is your solid rock, your firm foundation. This hope is like a lifeline that connects you directly to God's love and power, giving you the strength to endure. Consider the story of Abraham, who hoped against hope when God promised him a son, even though it seemed impossible due to his old age. Abraham's hope wasn't in his circumstances. It was in God's promise. And because he trusted God, he saw that promise fulfilled. Your situation might seem hopeless, but remember that God specializes in the impossible. Your hope in him will not be disappointed. Hope also gives you a vision for the future. It reminds you that this storm is not the end of your story. God has plans for you beyond this difficult season. He is already at work preparing a way for you, even if you can't see it yet. Holding on to hope means you're looking forward with expectation, believing that God's goodness will prevail. In moments when doubt tries to creep in, when the storm feels too strong, Remind yourself of God's past faithfulness. Look back on times when He has come through for you before. Let those memories reinforce your hope. God has never failed you, and He won't start now. As you anchor your hope in God, you will find that His peace fills your heart, calming your fears. You'll discover a new strength rising within you, enabling you to face each day with courage. This hope is not just for survival. It's for thriving, even in the midst of a storm. God's hope will carry you through, lighting your path, 
and giving you the assurance that His promises are true. But there's more to this hope than just holding on during the storm. It's also about recognizing that, within the storm itself, God is at work preparing you for a greater blessing. The very trials that seem overwhelming today can be the fertile ground where God's richest blessings will grow. This leads us to understand how God's blessings often come in the midst of a storm. It's hard to see it now, but your storm can become the very place where God's blessings pour out. In Psalm 46 verse 1, we are reminded, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. God doesn't waste your pain. He uses it to bring about something beautiful in your life. The storm is temporary, but the blessings that come from enduring it are eternal. God will bless you in ways you never expected, and your faith will be stronger for it. Sometimes, the greatest blessings come, not in spite of the storm, but because of it. Think about a tree. When a tree faces strong winds, its roots dig deeper into the soil, making it stronger and more resilient. In the same way, your faith grows deeper when you face challenges. The storm forces you to rely on God more, to trust Him in ways you never had to before. And it's in that deep reliance on God that you find blessings that you could never have imagined. God's blessings in the storm often come in unexpected forms. It might be the strength you find to keep going when you thought you couldn't take another step. It might be the peace that fills your heart when you surrender your worries to God. Or it might be the way God brings people into your life to support you, to encourage you, and to walk with you through the storm. These blessings may not look like what you expected, but they are signs of God's love and care for you. Moreover, the storm can also reveal blessings in disguise. Sometimes what feels like a loss is actually God making room for something greater. A door closing might lead you to a path you never would have considered, a path that brings you closer to God's purpose for your life. Remember Joseph in the Bible? Sold into slavery by his brothers, falsely accused, and thrown into prison. His life seemed to be one storm after another. But in the end, those very storms positioned him to save many lives and fulfill God's plan. What seemed like a curse was actually a blessing in disguise. So, while the storm rages, keep your eyes open for the blessings that are coming your way. They might be small at first, a moment of calm in the chaos, a word of encouragement from a friend, but they are reminders that God is with you. And as you persevere, those blessings will grow just like that tree with deep roots. They will become a testimony to God's faithfulness, not just to you, but to everyone around you. Your storm, with all its challenges, will become a story of God's power and goodness, a story that inspires others to trust Him in their own storms. God will bless you, not just after the storm, but right in the middle of it. His blessings are often hidden in the struggle, waiting to be discovered as you trust Him more. And when the storm finally passes, you'll look back and see that the blessings far outweigh the pain. You'll see that the storm wasn't just something to survive. It was a journey that brought you closer to God and prepared you for even greater blessings ahead. As you face your storms, remember that God is with you, guiding you through every wave and every gust of wind. Don't lose hope. Hold on to your faith. Trust in God's plan and anchor your hope in His promises. He will bless you, even in the middle of the storm. In every storm, there is a purpose. God is not only with you, but is also working for your good. Trust Him, lean on Him, and watch how He transforms your storm into a blessing. Your breakthrough is coming. Hold on to your hope. As we close this message, let's come together in prayer seeking God's presence and guidance through the storms we face. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts that may be weary, but are filled with hope. We acknowledge that the storms of life can be overwhelming, but we know that you are greater than any challenge we face. Lord, we ask for your strength to endure the trials that come our way. When the winds of doubt and fear blow fiercely, 
Remind us that you are our refuge, our ever-present help in times of trouble. Father, we thank you for your unfailing love and the promises you have given us. Help us to trust in your plan, even when we don't understand it. Teach us to lean on you, to find peace in your presence, and to anchor our hope in your word. May we not be swayed by the storms, but stand firm, knowing that you are working all things for our good. We pray for your blessings, Lord, not only after the storm has passed, but right in the middle of it. Bless us with peace that surpasses understanding, with faith that moves mountains, and with hope that never fades. Let our lives be a testimony of your faithfulness, showing the world that you are a God who blesses his children even in the midst of their trials. Lord, we surrender our fears, our doubts, and our anxieties to you. Fill us with your Spirit and guide us through every storm we face. We trust in your timing, your wisdom, and your love. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. If this message has given you hope in the midst of your storm, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more uplifting content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new messages that can strengthen your faith. And please share this video with someone who needs encouragement today. Let's spread God's hope together.